Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set a constraints in your project. The constraints basically is a set of rules that you're going to apply on your geometry in order to make them maintain these rules throughout the project cycle. And that's going to save you a lot of time and make your workflow more efficient. So with that being said, let's get started. So here I have a simple office block and as you can notice here these offices are not equal and I want them to be always equal even if some modification happened in my project. Let's say I want to stretch this wall further. I want all these offices maintains the equality setting between them. I'm going to undo that by pressing Ctrl Z on my keyboard. So you're going to achieve that by utilizing the Align Dimension tool and you can press DI or go up to the Quick Access Toolbar and click Dimension. And once you click it, the option bar will give you different options like where you want your dimension to start from. I'm going to select Wall Center Lines and if you want to pick entire walls or individual one. I'm going to go with entire walls because it's much faster and easier. So click that and you want to click the options here. After you click it, the dialog box will pop up on your screen and you want to select intersecting walls. Click OK. And then all you need to do is to pick a wall and just drag your dimension strings out and you need to look for the eq simple here and you click it and that will make all these offices equal 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 so now if i want to stretch that wall out all these offices will stay same and maintain the equality setting that I set up. I'm gonna undo that. And now you notice like the window here is not in the middle of this office. And I'm going to use the same tool to make it always in the middle of this office. I'm gonna pick a line dimension again, but this time I'm going to use individual references. And I'm going to pick the center line of this wall, the center line of the window, and the center line of that wall and drag it up and you just need to zoom a little bit and you till, until you see this equal simple and now it's equal even if you change your design like so i'm gonna undo that and if you want to see the value of each equal dimension you just want to click it and go to the property palette here under the equality display click it and here you can put the value of each dimension so after that let me start placing some doors to my offices so now if you want to change the dimension of your office block you will create a warning with regard to the doors that you just placed and really what you want to do is to set a constraint for these doors to maintain the same distance between the jam of the door and the wall right next to it and you're going to achieve that by utilizing the label tool so what you want to do is to click on the dimension itself and up there in the ribbon bar you can create a label and give it a name i'm just going to name it door wall offset and click ok and that's going to make these this dimension label and you can tell by this small pencil icon here and you can click it and you can change the dimension to whatever you want apply ok so what you want to do is to select each dimension of these doors by clicking on them while holding the control key on your keyboard 
and set them as a label. And now each dimension labeled and constrained to this dimension. So now if I do any change to my dimension, they will maintain the same dimension right here. I'm gonna undo that for now. The other thing I want to show you here is how to make this window aligned with this window and keep it always aligned with each other. For this purpose, I'm going to use Align Tool. I'm gonna go to Modify tab and click on Align and pick this window and just click on the other one. And now when in order to make a concentrate here, I want to click and lock this padlock icon and that will make it a concentrate. So now if I would move this window, the other one will move with it and vice versa. I'm going to undo that. And the same thing I can do with this door. Pick a line tool and click at the middle of this door and pick the another one and that will make them align to each other. So after you've done all your concentrate setting and you decided that you don't want really to see these dimensions on your view, all you need to do is just click in on this constraint and delete it and the Revit going to give you a message down here, ask you if you want to keep the concentrate or not. I'm going to click OK to keep the concentrate. And in order to reveal back all these constraints, you can go here to this icon, Reveal Constraint, and click it. And you can observe all the constraints that you've done on your project and make any modification that you want to do with them. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel for more videos, tips, and tricks just like this one. Take care and have a nice day.